Darth Sidious actually want Anakin to be trained as a Jedi before a Sith Lord. Today, students of the Force and acolytes of the galaxy, we will answer that question and explain how it was actually very advantageous for Anakin to be trained as a fully formed Jedi Knight before his apprenticeship under the Dark Lord Sidious. To begin our explanation, we have to go back to the beginning of the Rule of Two and the beginning of the Bainite era. In the Darth Bane novel, Bane explains personally that taking an apprentice is the most important goal for any Sith Lord. As an apprentice is the one that will carry on the lineage of the Sith after the master is either killed by an apprentice or killed otherwise. Therefore, it was exceptionally important to train a powerful and skilled apprentice in the dark side to continue the order of the Sith, as an apprentice essentially made up half of the entire Sith order at any given time. It was because of this that Darth Bane was under the impression that a Sith should be trained as early as possible and at an exceedingly young age, in order to indoctrinate the child fully into the ways of the dark side and hatred. This is why Darth Bane's own apprentice in Darth Zana was taken at a very young age before she could ever be trained as a fully formed Jedi. As Zana was a Jedi initiate and on her way to be trained as a Jedi when she was eventually found by Lord Bane. Palpatine initially followed this doctrine as established by Darth Bane as he trained Maul as a very young child, believing that this was the best way to take on an apprentice. Insidious was able to craft and train Maul into essentially the perfect Sith assassin. However, with his later two apprentices, Sidious would grow to change this mindset and believe that actually taking on an apprentice when they were older was more advantageous, and it even proved more advantageous when these apprentices had been trained by Jedi, specifically though in the case of Anakin. Before an important detail about why Palpatine wanted Anakin to be trained as a Jedi, and a very important factor was actually Darth Tyrannus, Dooku, and it was an open discussion between Dooku and Palpatine that actively changed Palpatine's mind and made him positive that Anakin must be trained as a Jedi. Dooku states that he believes he is more powerful now as a Sith Lord because the galaxy and the Jedi as a whole have been allowed to indoctrinate, corrupt, and break his very spirit, which is something that the dark side of the Force naturally feeds off of. Dooku states that this is a major reason why he is such a talented dark side wielder. Not to mention, he did actually receive formal training in the Force by the Jedi, which he does implement as a Sith, despite not wanting to admit it. It is this hatred, though, and contempt for the state of the galaxy that has allowed Dooku to use this to fuel his own energies in the dark side, and fuel his own teachings as a respective dark lord. It is Dooku's innate hatred for the Jedi and disillusionment from them that causes him to be so fearful against them, and so effective in combat. Dooku says that the fact that he has already experienced loss and fury is what makes him a better Sith. Palpatine himself even looks back, as Palpatine was taken as an apprentice by Darth Plagueis at the age of 17, meaning that Sidious himself was trained as a much older age than he would have been as a Jedi or as Darth Bane said that he should have been as a Sith initiate. Instead, Palpatine had been grown to hate his own family and the political state of Naboo in the wider galaxy as a whole, with Darth Plagueis exploiting this and again believing that it is the fact that the galaxy was able to mold Sidious, and the galaxy being the cruel and desolate place that it is that allowed Palpatine himself to grow in power exponentially. The Jedi for training Anakin was simply the best option, as Darth Sidious wanted Anakin to be trained in the methods of the Force, and he believed that being trained as a Jedi would not inherently one day draw Anakin to the light side and the fully formed chosen one, but would instead do the opposite, and would cause him to hate and resent the Jedi because of something that he inherently sensed within the young boy. Not to mention that Anakin would be actively training in the ways of the Force, which would make him more powerful when he resented resulted as a Sith. In a meeting with Anakin following the events of the Phantom Menace, Darth Sidious is 100% sure that he will one day be able to fully corrupt and turn Anakin to the ways of the Sith. In their meeting, he senses that there is a fury behind Anakin Skywalker's eyes, something that is not there within many Jedi. And beyond this, he senses that Anakin Skywalker is extremely talented at hiding this fury. The reason Palpatine is able to pick up on this is this is something that he himself has practiced his entire life, as he constantly has many conversations with the Jedi and tons of interactions with them, but they cannot sense his hatred for them. Palpatine feels the same traits within Anakin, and it is at this moment that he knows that his plan will be all successful. Beyond this, Palpatine believed that the very Jedi Order itself would be advantageous in training Anakin, as they were fearful of his power, and Sidious knew this. This is something that I've actually found quite interesting about Darth Sidious, is he's never actually fearful of Anakin Skywalker's power, and he openly embraces 
loses it. The Jedi, on the other hand, are terrified of the prospects of training a Force-sensitive as powerful as Anakin if he ever does go rogue, which of course he does. But it's this inherent fear for him that Anakin Skywalker senses, and as a result of this, he never fully trusts any of them, something that Sidious knew would occur. Anakin wants to become as actively powerful as he can, and the Jedi don't want this for Anakin at all. In fact, they try to steer him away from it. Darth Sidious knew full well how the Jedi operated, as he had been admittedly studying them for decades, as you have to know your enemy in order to topple them completely, and Palpatine knew the Jedi exceptionally well. This is why he was supremely confident in essentially handing Anakin over to their order. Another major factor is Darth Sidious knew that Anakin Skywalker would have an extremely difficult time dealing with attachments and letting them go, as the Sith basically focus on power and attachments, and he knew that one day this would be highly alluring to the Chosen One. He knew that the Jedi would want to leave Shmi Skywalker on Tatooine, and that over the years this would essentially drive Anakin insane, as being with the Jedi, Anakin would now have the power and the means to go save his mother. But because of the Jedi, they held him back. And ultimately, when Shmi Skywalker is killed, this solidifies Anakin's full turn, even if he doesn't know it yet. As Anakin would grow to resent the Jedi for telling him to not go rescue his mother and to let go of all of his attachments. The same thing that would later occur with his wife. Beyond all of this, Darth Sidious set himself up perfectly to be a father figure to Anakin Skywalker and a shoulder to cry on when the young boy needed it. He would embrace and praise Anakin Skywalker for his innate power and skill in the Force, something that Palpatine would know that the boy would need after facing Jedi such as Mace Windu, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and even Yoda, who constantly would tell Anakin that he was not powerful enough. Anakin actively needed somebody to praise him, and Palpatine would fill that role perfectly. He would be the one that he could complain to about the Jedi, and essentially be the father figure that Anakin Skywalker never had. This would put Darth Sidious in the perfect position as someone that Anakin would trust to eventually sway him to the ways of the dark side. But anyway my friends, this is actually the perfect reason why Palpatine wanted Anakin trained as a Jedi before converting him to a Sith Lord, and how being trained as a Jedi worked perfectly in Palpatine's favor. This also allowed Palpatine to have powerful apprentices such as Maul and Dooku in the back background when Anakin was young and he would not want to risk losing him. But anyway my friends, what are your thoughts on this and what are your thoughts on this reasoning behind why Sidious wanted Anakin trained as a Jedi? Do you think that this all makes sense and is there other aspects of Star Wars lore that you would like to see explored? As always my friends, may the force be with you and I hope that you have a great day.